Welcome to m and Production. I'm Paul. Wanted to talk about my Beretta Model 81 today. These guns were imported about a year ago. Um, they came from PW Arms in Redmond, Washington, and were distributed by a couple of different um, distributors. I bought mine from AIM. I bought a couple of dozen of them. I'm an FFL dealer and decided to keep one of them because I thought they were one of the coolest guns to come down the surplus uh, pike supply in a long time. Um, they were like $200, $225 and it's a heck of a value in my opinion. Uh, these guns were used by the Italian uh, corrections department, so police, corrections, what have you. Some of them show some pretty good holster wear, some of them are like new. This one is really in nice shape. It's got one little scratch here, and that's about it. It's beautifully made. Uh, it's a Model 81, which was exclusively a 32 caliber double stack magazine, 12 round capacity. Um, disassembles as follows, right along with, uh, make sure it's unloaded, of course. Yep, we're clear. You uh, push this button, push down on the takedown lever, pull off the slide, there's your spring, boom. And the, hand, and the barrel comes out. There, simple disassembly, hardly any wear on the inside. Barrel ramp shows hardly anything. Super nice guns. Um, I don't know if these are still available or not. If you get a chance to get one, I would recommend you get one. Uh, 32 ammo is not too bad. Price-wise, usually $15 or less. Um, reassembly is pretty easy. Put the barrel back in, slide it back. Put the spring back in. Slide it back on the receiver. Let's see. There, the barrel fits in there really tight. There, you're loaded. Now, the tricky thing about these guns, they're old tech. Say you insert a loaded mag and you chamber around. Boom, you're loaded. Okay. You can engage your safety and carry it cocked and locked. But if you want to use like it is a double action pistol. So if you want to utilize the double action by lowering the hammer, this is what you gotta do, and this is where it gets a little sketchy. You've got to disengage the safety, there's no decock. You have to Block the hammer with your finger and control it. This is the way I would do it. I put my thumb in front of it, my thumb on top of it. Grab that hammer and control it. Pull the trigger. As soon as you feel the hammer release, let go of the trigger. Ease it forward. It will go to the half cock notch. And you can carry it that way. You can also engage the safety and still have the safety function and the double action heavy first shot pull first shot will be the heavy trigger pull subsequent shots will be of course single action so that's the only downside uh, personally I think I would carry it empty chamber loaded magazine um, if I carried it you know there are better guns these days to carry but for a gun to keep in a car or just to collect I think they're great. I'm going to take this one out and shoot it for y'all. Get some video of us shooting it. Um, if you get one, I suggest you use a European 32 Auto Ammo or 765 Browning as they call it. Fiocchi or Gecko, the German stuff. Um, PPU, the Yugoslavian, whatever that is. For some reason, Foreign European 32 ammo is hotter and tends to function with a lot more authority and certainty 
in these 32 ACP guns. The US stuff seems to be loaded a little bit on the light side. The Remington and the Winchester I'll have some malfunctions due to uh, the slide not coming back far enough or sketchy ejection or what have you. Usually when you have problems with a 32 ACP European gun feed it European ammo and you won't have any problems. It'd be reliable. I've shot this one before and it's been very reliable. So we'll take it out today and shoot it and see how it does. So me and Matt have uh, had a good day, a lot of fun shooting this little gun. Um, I didn't mention this earlier, but uh, I believe this gun was made in 1982. There's a uh, two letter proof code on here, AF. And if you Google Italian uh, firing proof date code, something to that effect, you'll get some resources there that will tell you what these uh, letters mean and they'll date it um i i think i looked this one up and it was 82 or 84 or something like that but uh really great little gun i hope you know if you get a chance to get one i would recommend it me and matt both like them uh low recoil matt did some pretty good shooting with it i didn't hit i can't hit squat because i'm shaky but uh, i still enjoy shooting handguns even though it's a bit aggravating for me <laughs> but uh beautiful day here in middle tennessee and uh, we hope you enjoyed this little video. If you have any questions, just comment and ask. So I'll get back to you. And uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Please subscribe. Please like. And have a good one. Bye. Bye. It's time.